Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Jo Re Mi Fa So La Keto. I'm Jo Re and I'm doing a weekly vlog to share my keto weight loss progress. I am actually not new to keto. I lost about 50 pounds in 2018 and then uh, 2020 happened and I gained everything back and then some. Then in January, I was in a better headspace and I restarted keto and I have lost over 45 pounds so far. So let's go ahead and see how I did this week. Normally in my videos, I talk about the previous Monday through Sunday, but this last week was a little bit hectic. So I'm gonna talk about the whole previous week, plus the last couple of days uh, that I took a trip ending on today. This last week, not only did we have the 4th of July, but we also took a quick two day trip with my family to a local resort. Um, and I did stay keto on the 4th of July, minus like a handful of popcorn. So I was really happy about that. Um, but I did go off plan during the last couple of days on this local trip. We had a really good time on this trip and we actually only came back just a couple hours ago. A couple of my family members did stay for one of the nights, so my kids did get to spend some time with their cousins, and they had a really good time, and it was just hard to get them out of the pool. Normally, I would talk about all the stuff that I ate that was off plan, but I'm not gonna go into that much detail this time, because I, I mean, I didn't take any pictures or anything, but I will say that it did include pizza and cookies and lots of Mexican food. The last Monday through Sunday, I did stay keto though, so let's go ahead and talk about what I ate for the week that was keto. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I intermittent fast. I eat two meals a day and a small bulletproof coffee, so I meal prep for three meals every week. My first meal this week was chicken salad chaffle sandwiches. The recipe for my chaffle is in the description below. Um, and for the chicken salad, I did make it pretty easy. I used canned chicken, and then in that I put mayo, mustard, and some sour cream, um, some pickles, and celery, and some walnuts. This is so easy to make. I used to make this all the time, and I totally forgot how easy it was and how good it is. My second meal this week was pork spare ribs with a side of cheesy green beans. For the ribs, I already had some leftover spice rub from the last time I made these. So all I really had to do was rub it on the ribs, put it in the Instapot for a bit, and then broil them with a little bit of Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce uh, to brown them up a bit. The green beans I made in the air fryer, um, I make those the day of when I need them. I'll put a link to both recipes below if you'd like to give them a try. My third meal this week was keto chicken nuggets with a side salad. I've made these chicken nuggets several times before and I always look forward to eating them. These are the chicken nuggets that you marinate in pickle juice and then coat with egg and pork rinds. I'll post a link to the recipe in the description below, but I do recommend buying some pork panko instead of trying to crush up uh, pork rinds yourself. I mean, you can do that. It's just a lot more messy um, and it just takes more time. And on to exercise. My plan is to work out for six days a week and I worked out for four days this week. This week I did run two days, uh, but then I started getting some knee pain and some ankle pain. So I decided to take a rest off of my foot for a while. Um, that's why I didn't get all the days in. Honestly, my ankle has been kind of painful for the last few weeks, but I really just wanted to get through and get that 5k done. I did take my run down from three miles to two miles and I did find that I like that better. Uh, but then I started experiencing the knee pain. So then I decided to just, you know, take a break and give it a rest. This week on my trip, I did bring gym clothes all with the, you know, good intentions of working out at the gym, uh, which didn't happen, but I did swim with my kids all day. So, I don't know, what do you think? Does that count as a workout? And now for my weight. Before I left on the trip and before I went off plan, my weight was 194.8 pounds. That's a loss of 1.2 pounds for the week. I weighed myself about 20 minutes ago after being off plan and my current weight is 200.6 pounds. 
That's a gain of 5.8 pounds for the off-plan days. I really hate seeing that two at the front of my weight and that really just needs to, you know, stop happening. I'm not super worried though because I do plan to get right back on track tomorrow. I've already went shopping and I already have all my meals planned out. So my goal for next week is to just be back to where I was only a couple days ago. Okay everyone, that is all that I have for the week. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell icon to get a notification every time I post a new video. I will see you next week. Bye.